Hi guys, can you see what I am seeing? Do you see that beautiful, beautiful blue sky? It is absolutely gorgeous today. We have, I believe it's at 74. Uh, I'm wearing short sleeves. I think the last time I had this conversation, I was wearing this exact same top. But, um, yeah, so it is beautiful out here. I am sitting in my car, and um, you can probably hear the natural noise in the background because I have all my windows down because it is too hot to sit in the car um, locked up without turning on the air, and I, I thought that noise was even more annoying. So, um, but I'm having not a bad day today, except that I still have this headache, guys. Um, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I'm trying to increase my water because I know I have not been drinking my water as I should. So I'm trying very hard to increase my water and hoping that will ease some of it. I mean, you can only take so many aspirins and already have stomach issues without adding to it. But, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm sitting in my car. I had a late start on lunch, but that's okay because I have to be here some extra hours today. Um, I'm working late all week. I am praying that I can make it because, uh, this headache has really gotten the best of me in the last couple of days but um, I'm gonna work this overtime while I can because I truly like having that um, not ex exactly extra but it helps ease my money stress so to speak <laughs> um, doctor bills are starting to come in now from those testing that I got done and I actually have to call one of them because I'm not sure I understand why I have to pay them but anyway so yeah so that's where I am I wanted to um I'm sorry about that that was my hands but I wanted to come in and talk to you guys for a minute um, and show you that foundation from CoverGirl. Um, oh shoot, I don't even remember the name of it. But the one that I just got yesterday, I, I put it on today. I don't know that it so much makes your makeup flawless. And I don't know if you can tell, but my face is very dark today. Um, so it looks sort of like I'm wearing makeup that doesn't match my skin tone, which is surprising to me that the exact same shade as um, their Outlast is so much darker. So, um, yeah, I'm not happy with that, but it doesn't look too bad. I'll come in a little bit closer. I don't know that it covers any flaws, but... Um, I can't really feel like I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup so that's a good point for them but really dark so I, I, I would have to find a different shade for me to really say I like it but um, yeah so I wasn't too too thrilled with it I um, <sighs> started my day off um, when I came in here this morning with emails again um, I don't know when I'm gonna learn my list and not to open emails early but um, but I did not let it stress me today I just kind of 
opened it, read it, and closed it. Um, and that was it. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I have to come to terms with the fact that this place is always going to stress me to a certain level. And um, if I have to be here every day, I can't be in a funk every day. So um, it's just that when you don't feel well and then you have to come to work and put up with BS, it just makes it really hard. But So I'm not having too bad a day. I'm just really, really working on getting rid of this headache so that... Um, and function better uh, so I'm just taking it one folder at a time and one um, one day at a time I am trying to get organized um, in my planner because I need to schedule out my time um, so I can get into that habit I don't want to, um, I don't want YouTube and social media to overtake my entire life, so I, uh, I'm working on that. I'm working on making my time for reading. Um, I am currently reading the book, um, Write It Down, Make It Happen. I purchased that book last year and I started it but then I get so caught up in other things that it's just been traveling with me back and forth every day so I decided I needed to get that done um, I read the secret not too long ago probably me well I guess it has been a while it's been about a year since I read the secret and um, I thought that was a really good book and if you can follow the principles in it it would probably make my life go a lot easier if I could adapt some of those principles and I've always been a person that kept a journal until someone invaded my privacy um, probably about I don't know how long has it been almost five years actually and Though I still write um, in a journal I keep by my bed, I sometimes, um, I'm so untrustworthy of leaving my thoughts in a book, but I really want to get back into journaling again because it helps me a lot. So um, that's one of my goals too, is to journal and to, um, to journal and to also um, get some time in for reading and um, doing a little bit of uh, Bible study during Lent so um, yeah so I don't want to I don't want to not do my channel but I also want to be able to do other things so I'm going to um, put all that in my planner so that I can schedule out time to do that um, that and turning off the TV so I need to uh, learn how to shut off the computer and shut off the TV and focus more on other things so well not so much more but to include other things in my in my evening and um, so yeah so that's where I am I won't keep you guys. I just wanted to stop in for a minute and uh, say hello and show you guys this beautiful day that we're having. I think it's supposed to be like this for the next three days. And then um, I did a 10 day forecast outlook <clears throat> and it looks like we're gonna have pretty good weather for the next 10 days, um, except for maybe one day. I think it said something like 40% chance of rain. But even then, the evenings are not going to be as cool. Um, and the days are not going to be as cold. So that's always a good thing. But anyway, uh, so that is it for me. And um, 
I will talk to you guys in the next one.